Hey guys! Welcome to day three. I think, oh, I'm like stuck in all my cords. I am going to check my phone, make sure I'm streaming in the right group. If you guys are here on the live, go ahead and comment live below. And if you catch the replay, comment replay so I know when you're watching. Okay, let's see. Oh, I think I'm streaming. I think. Turn down the volume. Hey guys. Hey Jessica, I'm glad you can make the live. Hey Sarah, and thanks. <laughs> I know, I, I feel like every time I'm gonna do a live and I've never gone into the wrong group. I have this irrational fear of streaming in like someone else's group or on my private page. And it's, you know, I don't know. Haven't done it yet. <laughs> At this rate, I'm not going to though. Hey Jacqueline. So we got some people coming on now. Hey, Mitzi. Hey, Jessica. Glad you're here. So I'm going to try to keep my phone on. Hey, Teresa. Glad you can make the live. And we're going to get going. So got my screen up and with the schedule, we are already at day three. I, I love this three-day side hustle challenge because it's quick. It gets to the good stuff, to the important stuff. In day one, we talked about the mindset to start, recognizing that we have to address those mindset issues that hold us back if we want to move forward. And you know, the thing about mindset, and you guys identified some amazing struggles that hold you back, but the thing about it, it's not like, okay, I identified it and now I'm cured. It's like, I feel like we have to identify throw it out. And when it creeps on back, cause it always does, we look at it and we throw it back, right? We just continue to get rid of it. Working on your mindset to start, that is so important, but you got to continue working on whatever those struggles are. You know, at some point, yeah, you'll probably, you know, get so much better and what is a barrier for you won't be anymore. But you know, I, I've mentioned I'm a recovering perfectionist. It still creeps in. I got to take it and get rid of it. Cause I don't have any time for perfectionism. So then on day two, we talked about all the possibilities. We talked about a ton of different things things that you could do for your side hustle. I went to the entire 30 minutes for the little training, which I say are 15 to 30 minutes. It was day one was 15, day two was 30. I feel like I talked a lot. And today is a really exciting day because we are going to talk about going all in. And what I mean by that is getting started doing the thing. So welcome to day three, guys. So first off, I want to tell you guys about the free mini course. I've got the link below. I don't know where it is when you guys are watching live, but you can catch it after the live. I've got the link somewhere <laughs> where there's words. And this is the link where you can go grab my free mini course. And so I want you to grab this because it's got some fun downloads for you guys. So the it's pretty much a PDF document and it's got a bunch of hyperlinks in it. Now, all of these videos are kind of just the same version of the challenge. So don't worry about that. You could always, you know, you could always watch them or watch them again later when you need some more inspiration. Um, but what I want to direct you guys to are these downloads. I have five downloads available for you that are going to help you as you get started with your side hustle. So um, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about what those are. So when it comes to getting started and moving forward, you have to figure out what is the best fit for you. Now, are you someone who's a self-starter? You're like, okay, Katie, I got this. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to crush it on my own. Are you someone who maybe you want to go all in with blogging? I've got my little Frozen reference there. I have two kiddos. So <laughs> if you guys know the movie Frozen at all with you want to build a snowman, do you want to be a blogger? Now, I know a lot of you in this group are interested in blogging and how that could possibly work for you and your side hustle. So we're going to talk about um, you know a wonderful opportunity I have for you guys if you want to go all in and be a blogger. So if you are the self-starter and you just want to go out there and do the thing, here is what I recommend that you do. So this is one of the downloads with that document, um, that little mini course. If you go into it, you are able to get this one. It's your first download. It's my getting started worksheet. So this right here has quite a few things. And I really recommend that you actually print this out and complete it and stick to it. I mean, it sounds a little silly, but when we actually write things on paper, when we get them out of our head and put it on on paper, we are more likely to follow through and have success. So on here, it's, it's real easy. It's got five questions. The first part, what side hustle do you want to pursue or side hustles? And you figure that out yesterday. So you can make the little check marks or add, you know, to your other, cause I know a lot of you had some really cool ideas. And then why do you want to start a side hustle? I think that that's really important. We didn't talk about this in the challenge, but I'm a real big fan of figuring out your why, why are you doing the thing? Because 
you know, right now you're probably excited about, yeah, I'm going to start the side hustle. But when we get in the daily grind, you know, when we're doing the thing, sometimes that little fire can burn out. And if we're really basing what we're doing on a solid foundation, a solid why, this is like why I'm doing the thing, that's going to help you have more success long-term when things get hard and they're not as exciting. You're remembering, nope, this is why I'm doing the thing. So, you know, that might be for you. Maybe it's just to make some extra income. Maybe it's to eventually shift out of your traditional full-time job. Maybe it's just an area you're super passionate about. Um, maybe you're bored in your full-time job. Like you totally appreciate it. It pays the bills. It's, you know, has the benefits, but it's not, you want more, right? And maybe you just want to have fun, live out your dreams. You know, there's lots of different reasons on why you want to start a side hustle, but I think it's important to identify the why. And then you need to figure out what do you need to do before you get started. So this, you know, this challenge is brief. It's, it's, you know, it's three days. It's, it's not a ton of content. So depending on what you want to do, you might have to go out there and learn more stuff. You might need to develop more skills. And so the checklist has, I need to learn more about, maybe I need to take a course in this, or maybe I need to make a business plan. Maybe, you know, if you're gonna do food photography, you're like, gosh, I need to buy like a camera or something. <laughs> so, you know, what is that you need before you start? And then what are the skills that you need to develop? And I will say a lot of these skills, you'll probably have to continue to develop as an entrepreneur. And that would be maybe how to build an audience, marketing, um, writing good copy, like writing things that make people like want to read it, want to buy the things, um, all kinds of different um, skills that you may need to acquire. And then the last part, you guys know this part. This is um, write your next steps to get started. This is writing SMART goals. And y'all are dietitians. You guys know how to write a good SMART goal. <laughs> so specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. But um, the one caveat I always have for SMART goals for dietitian side hustlers, I think sometimes the perfectionist in us makes us dream too small when we think of like the attainable, realistic or whatever. So I just encourage you to set audacious goals, big, crazy, wild goals, because I think sometimes we hold back. So don't hold back. So next I have some dietitian side hustle checklists. I've talked to quite a few of you over the past year about, you know, what, what do you guys need? What helps you? And pretty much what I've been told is like, tell me what to do and I'll do it. So I'm like, I love checklists. So I've created four checklists. I keep wanting to make more. And hopefully by the time I do this challenge again, I'll have a fifth checklist for you guys. But I've made these checklists for you guys to get started with four different side hustle opportunities. One is freelance writing, one is webinars, one is digital goods, and one is courses. So I'll show you what they look like. They're pretty simple, but it's just a checklist to get started because <laughs> that's the key here is to get started, stop thinking, start doing. So with the freelance writing one, it has like, hey, learn more about freelance writing. Absolutely join the RDs who write Facebook group. Anna runs that group and it is amazing. Maybe you want to check out her paid course. It just dropped today. It's an amazing course. I haven't done it yet, but I've heard a lot of amazing things about it. Um, maybe, you know, you want to check out this um, editorial freelancer associations, editorial rates and figure out what are people charging for writing and then find writing gigs. This just has some information about how you might get out there and find a good gig. Now, this may be going through um, a company called Upwork where they have opportunities for freelance writing gigs or maybe updating your LinkedIn account so people find you or maybe going out and finding specific companies that hire writers from magazines to websites to bloggers. Um, and then also just spreading the word, letting people know, hey, I'm a freelance writer. <laughs> so that way, you know, word of mouth and market or um, networking is really huge when it comes to finding gigs. And then finally, at the bottom of all the checklists, there's a spot that says take action. And with this one, it says reach out to five different companies by the end of the week and sign up for the blogging accelerator program, which we're going to talk about soon and complete the entire checklist. So just something to actually help you take action. So if you are a self-starter, make sure that you snag this free mini course and grab the downloads. So next, I want to talk to you guys. For those of you who do want to go in and you want to be bloggers, I want to talk to you guys about my blogging accelerator program. And this is launching on March first. So next week, and it's really a program all about blogging as a business. So I want to preface this. I know not everyone in the challenge is going to want to blog. So if you don't hang tight, listen to me describe the program. And if you think of a dietitian or an RD to be who'd be a good fit for this, send them my way, let them know about the program because I'm really excited about this program. So I'm bringing back the frozen reference. I've got Anna there. Do you want to be, or Anna, 
on a, do you want to be a blogger? So I have this pyramid. It's the blogging accelerator pyramid. And it's really just kind of a place to say, where are you on the pyramid and where do you want to be? I'm using like the RD to be to, to RD language. So at the very bottom, you have the blogger to be. Now, this is a dietitian or RD to be who wants to start a blog. They want to have passive income streams, but they are unsure of what their niche is or even how to get started. From there, you have the blogger. It's someone who actually has a blog. They push, publish, it's live, but they're still trying to figure out how to grow and make money from it. Next, you have the blog employee. This is someone who has a blog and it's making money, but you still want it to grow and continue to have more streams of passive income because you are working for the blog. You are trading a lot of time for money and it's like, you know, you are the employee of the blog and not the other way around. But at the top of the pyramid where we want to be is the blog boss. Now, this is where you have a successful blog with multiple streams of income. You're working less, making more. So. How do you move up the pyramid? Well, first off, if you're a blogger to be, you got to figure out your path. You got to figure out what you want to do and learn how to build the blog. From there, you need to learn how to grow the blog to build up more traffic, to build multiple income streams. To continue moving up, you have to be motivated, have consistency, surround yourself with the right community, and automate, systemize, and potentially hire if you want to continue to grow and scale. And then from there, even when you're as the, at the blog boss level, you still got to continue to grow and invest in yourself. So really my blogging accelerator program moves people up the pyramid. So I have my blog monetizer method, and this is really the eight steps of the program. And it really starts with discover. That is discovering what do you want to do? What are you good at? What are you passionate about? What is your blog going to be about? From there, you build the blog. Then you learn all about how to grow the blog. Then you have to find the goal that are, what are those topics that you could write about as a blogger that are going to allow you to grow and get more traffic. Then you have to learn how to create, create the content. You have to learn how to nurture and grow an audience. I talked yesterday about how to make money. We need two things. We need to have an audience to sell to and something to sell to them. So when it comes to nurture, that's all about building up your audience. And then dream is all about figuring out what are those things that you're going to sell? What are the products and services you're going to add over time as you grow your blog? And then finally plan. And that is planning out, you know, what's next after I get everything started and going from there. Blogging is a long-term game. It's not a get rich quick overnight thing. So you do have to have patience. You have to focus on progress and consistency. So when I think about the program, I really like talking about the outcomes. Like what is it that you are actually going to get out of each week? So the program itself is two months long. It's eight weeks total. And each week, the time expectation would be five to seven hours of work per week. So in week one and create the outcome at the end of the week, what you would have is a focused niche or brand and an understanding of business basics. At the end of week two, you will have a live website ready to monetize. That's right. We're going to build a website in a week. It's not going to be perfect, but the bones will be there and you will improve it over time. In the end of week three, learn, you're going to understand the basics of growing a blog. In week four, finding the gold, you're going to have a list of topics to create blog posts on for your first year of blogging. In week five, create. You are going to be confident in creating more content in less time. So when I'm in the create week, we're not just talking about how to create blog posts and create content. We're talking about how to create confidence, how to create more time. We talked about how dietitian side hustlers have less time. So what can we do to get more time? Then in week six, nurture, you are going to begin building your online audience. In week seven, dream, you're going to build a list of products or services to create as you grow your brand. And then in week Eight plan, you are going to move out of the program with a strategic plan, moving forward with confidence, excitement, determination, and tenacity. So those are the outcomes. A little bit more about the program. It is um, in a program called Think Epic. So it's an online course. And within the eight weeks, each week I have kind of a similar format. I have a four step format. I start off with an intro. I kind of address mindset issues like, hey, here's what you need to have moving into the week. Here's some of the struggles you're gonna face. Here's really the attitude we need to approach this week with. In um, the next part I do the core learning content where I teach you the things. From there, there's a bunch of resources. Pretty much everything I've made um, through blogging as a business, I give you in the program because my goal is I want this to be easier. I want you to get there faster and not have the struggles of trying to figure out all the things. And then finally, there are action items where you actually do a thing. So it's not just learning, it's learn, do, learn, do. So here is a little screenshot of what Thinkific looks like. So this right here is week one discover. You could see all of the little lessons in here. So here's the intro. Here is my core learning content, the resources to download and the action item.
And the action item is really cool because it sends you over to Facebook. So in Facebook, um, this is our blogging accelerator program members only Facebook page. We have these guides set up where you'll actually go in and put your responses to the action item each week. So this is going to hold you accountable, but then also you're going to have a community of people who are supporting you and encouraging you as you grow. Oops, lost my mouse there. So the blogging accelerator program does include my beyond the nine to five coaching course. Now this is the very course that if you finish this program, if you finish all three days of the three, um, the three day side hustle starter challenge, you'll be entered into a drawing to win this um, course. But if you end up getting the blogging accelerator program, it does include it. And along with this program, it includes my dietitian coaching workbook and my fulfilling five printable journal. It includes the fast track blog builder. And this is the course that was just gonna walk you through how to build a blog that you can monetize. It includes all kinds of tools and templates. I've got way too many words on the slide and it's probably not all important, but again, it's just every resource I've made along my journey and a bunch of checklists because I'm a big checklist fan because I wanna make it easy for you guys to do the thing. Checklists make it easy. So this is just a little snapshot of some of the little resources um, that you have available through the program. I've got the program guide, which is the checklist of everything through the program. I've got the business starter checklist, the blog builder workbook, which walks you through how to do the thing, and then the five strategies for creating time workbook. So it's a way that you could figure out like, oh, I just don't have enough time. Here's some things that you can do to create more time. So you could build your blog. So this is my favorite part, lifetime access to our blogging accelerator program, a Facebook group. This is priceless. This is a group of amazing dietitians. One of my favorite parts of this program, we have 23 people in the Facebook group right now who are so amazing. Um, I love learning from, you know, learning from their struggles, but then also celebrating their wins and knowing that blogging is a long-term game. Yeah, you learn how to do it, but then you continue to grow as a community and support each other to continue to create content and have success. And then also with the program, we do have three live Q&A calls. So that'll be a call at the beginning, call at the middle, call at the end. And this is just a place where you could ask questions, stay on track, stay motivated, and just really go through the program with the same cohort. So pulling it all together, we have all the things that I just talked about with the blogging accelerator program, the Beyond the 9 to 5 coaching course, the fast track blog builder, the journals, the templates, the calls, the Facebook group, all the things. So the program is available for one payment of $997 or there's a payment plan available for 10 monthly payments of $99.97. So it's really the same price, it's just a matter of paying in full or spreading it out a little bit. So I do like to provide full disclosure that it costs money to create a website. So there is a little bit of an additional cost. So if you are going to create a blog, a website that you can truly monetize, there's a specific way you need to do this. And it's going to cost you money. We're not making a blogspot dot, you know, katie.nutrition.com. We're making your own self-hosted website that you own. So expect to spend around $94 for a website. It's about $12 a year for your domain name. That's the www.website.com and then about $84 for one year of site hosting through SiteGround. And then there are other optional fees that you know you might end up spending if you decide to purchase a keyword research tool or if you decide to purchase Canva Pro, which is a tool for making pretty graphics. So here are some of the amazing vloggers in our program. Um, not all of them, but some of them and some of the nice words they had to say. So Sanui shared that um, the program was a great source of inspiration and information and that she recommends the course for those who want to see results. Grace shared that she was a newbie to blogging and it was all overwhelming, but she found that the checklists were helpful. It helped um, the steps help keep things simple. And then we have the dialysis dietitian, Maria, who shared that it was very helpful with the encouragement to help keep her on track and just noting how easy it is to, you know, say it's too hard or say you don't have enough time. And so she was able to have the support and resources that she needed to, to succeed. And if you join the program, you're in a Facebook with all these amazing ladies and so many more who will support and encourage you as you go on your blogging journey. So, oh, that's the program, guys. That's the Blogging Accelerator program. Again, we're launching March first. This is our third cohort and I'm so excited about it. So I have in this orange box, I really want to summarize like, what is this program? Like if I was to really describe it and what you're getting out of it, I really think of it as like this program, the blogging accelerator program is going to help you to stop dreaming and start doing. It's going to provide you step-by-step step how to actionable, you know, how to do the thing. It's going to provide you accountability and support. So that way you're actually able to follow through and do the thing you want to do. 
you are going to be taking imperfect action. <laughs> I talked about, you know, being imperfectly perfect. And I feel like in this course, it's me lovingly shoving you to take imperfect action and do the thing <laughs> to continue moving through the program. And then you'll be building your brand. So if you are like, yeah, the blogging accelerator, like that sounds amazing. I definitely want to do that. You can comment I'm in below and I'll send you the link to register. If you are thinking, yeah, Katie, that sounds kind of cool, but I'm not too sure it's the best fit for me. Comment call below and I'll send you the link to see if you qualify for a free strategy session where we would hop on a Zoom call and find out is this program the best fit for you. And if you're someone or you're like, I'm just not a blogger, it's not for me. But if you know a dietitian or an RD to be who would be a great fit for this program, spread the word and let them know about it. You guys see my little heart right there? Remember back in the day before emojis when we actually like use digits? So that's my little sideways heart. So anyways, your assignment for day three, guys. I want you guys to comment below what action are you committed to taking over the next week? So that could be if you're the self-starter, that might be printing out the getting started worksheet and completing that. It might be printing out and completing one of those checklists that I talked about. Maybe it is joining the blogging accelerator program. Maybe it's getting on a strategy call to see if it's a good fit for you or really anything. My biggest hope for you guys is that through this three-day challenge, through these short videos that I hope that I've given you the encouragement and the confidence and the belief that you guys can do anything. We are in a day and age where with your telephone, with the internet, with your imagination, you can do anything and reach anyone. So I really hope that you guys believe that and that you feel motivated to go out there and start the side hustle of your dreams. So I want you to comment below, what action are you committed to taking over the next week? Full disclosure, I'm going to follow up with you in one week and see if you did the thing. So that's one thing that I'm doing for you guys is giving you that added level of accountability because I know how easy it is to be like, yeah, I'm going to do this thing. And then tomorrow's Friday, then it's the weekend, then we get busy and then we're like, oh shoot, it's next Friday, I didn't do the thing. So comment what you want to do and know I'm going to follow up with you in a week to see if you did the thing, okay? So you guys, you did it. You made it through the three-day side hustle starter challenge. We started off talking about mindset. Then we talked about all the things you could do. Then we talked about going all in, getting started, whether or not you're a self-starter or wanting to go all in with the blogging accelerator program. So you guys make sure that you watch the video for all three days, answer the question, comment below. And if you're able to do all three days before tomorrow, which is Friday, oh gosh, guys, what's, what's tomorrow? the 25th. So if you're able to complete the challenge by tomorrow, Friday 25th at noon Pacific Standard Time, that's when the challenge ends. And if you are able to do that, then you'll be entered into a drawing to win our um, Beyond the 9 to 5 coaching course. So I'm going to be going live in the group tomorrow to share who is going to win that. And if you are someone who ends up enrolling in the blogging accelerator program and you, you win, what you're going to get is an hour one-on-one um, -on -one consultation call with me. So you're still going to win something. So Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining today. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Comment below, let me know what your action item is. And thank you so much for participating in the three-day side hustle starter challenge. Bye guys.